If you're walking after meals to lower your blood sugar, but your blood sugar is not coming down, here's what could be going on and how to fix it. You may have heard me talk about this study in which the subjects walk after meals and had a significant reduction in their A1C and fasting blood sugar levels. The science is clear here. This works through a mechanism known as contraction-stimulated glucose uptake, which basically turns your muscles into glucose vacuums. Basically, this is what allows you to drop your blood sugar when you activate your muscle fibers. But if this isn't working for you, there could be a lack of muscle mass. Skeletal muscle is the most metabolically active organ in your body when activated meaning that when you put your muscles to use, they burn a huge amount of glucose. But you need muscle mass in the first place. The problem is that as we age, we may encounter a problem known as sarcopenia. This is a term that describes age-related loss of muscle mass. But this doesn't mean that this has to happen to you as long as you do resistance training. Resistance training is critical to keep your muscle mass and control your blood sugar levels. And there you have it, my friends. I am an exercise physiologist, and if you want more free diabetes education, make sure to hit that subscribe button right here to subscribe to our channel. See you inside.